is it recording? I hope so. I hope it's recording because I don't want to have to film this thing more than once. <laughs> ah. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is August favorites, August favorites time. I have a lot to talk about. I have a lot of favorites. They're right over here on my desk. Let me just get started because if I ramble too much, we're just never going to get through all this stuff that I want to talk about. <laughs> Alright, let me get started. I'm going to start with like body and hair and that kind of thing and then we'll get into the makeup because that's the best part. I know that's the part you guys love the most. Alright, so I've been using this a lot this month. This is the Matrix Total Results Color Care So Silver Shampoo. This is a blue shampoo, as you can see. I'm not going to go out of my way to show you guys any more than that because this crap is pigmented. It is blue as... Purple is craziness. Purple is craziness. Um, I've been using this because my hair is all natural. I don't have any dye in it anymore except for maybe like an inch at the bottom from when my hair grew out when I had pink hair. You guys know if you've been watching my channel since 2004, 2004, 2014, if you guys have been watching my channel since 2014, you know I used to have a full head of fuchsia hair. It was like I don't know, 70% pink, I don't know. I took it out, but now it's all grown out. Except for this, there's this like a tiny little bit down here. And the part that I had bleached out tends to get like a little brassy. Like, it's like right down there. It's so hard to see because it's curly. But I've been using this shampoo to neutralize any brassiness that happens in my hair. And even though I don't dye my hair, when you have blonde hair, your hair can get a little brassy. What happens is your hair will absorb in like bad stuff from the water. I believe it's like the calcium and stuff like that or minerals from the water and it makes your hair like just the color. It gets wonky and I don't want wonky hair. I want my my natural hair. I mean, that's why I stopped dyeing my hair in general, just to let my natural hair color shine through. So this helps keep that like brassiness under control and it, get, it lets my hair be natural. <laughs> Can I have made that freaking description any longer? Like, <sighs> okay, let's move on. I also use a clarifying shampoo and that helps as well, but I'm just saying that's good to tone it, to tone my natural locks my natural locks. Okay, so the next thing is this. This is the Volumizing Hairspray by Agadir. It's Agad Agadir, oh, um, oh, Agadir Argan Oil Finishing Spray. This is a hairspray. This is one of those touchable feel um, uh, hairsprays that you can touch your hair and your hair will not be all like crunchy and crusty and disgusting. So, um, this is fast drying, this is humidity resistant, and this is luxury shine. The smell of this hairspray is delicious. Usually I don't like the way argan oil smells, but their products smell amazing. It can almost be overpowering if you spray too much hairspray, I have to warn you, because it is very fragrant very fragrant. I have all their products. They actually sent them to me. Um, they didn't ask for a review or anything like that. They just sent them to me, you know, if I wanted to use them or whatever. Uh, I really like it. I really like this. Matt's been using this like crazy too and every time it comes into the room, I'm like, yeah, you're using the argan oil, aren't you? Aren't you? It smells good. They have a shampoo, conditioner, hair mask, uh, all of it. It all smells just the same and it's so, so good. So, mm delicious and my hair just looks shiny like look at how shiny it looks look at how shiny do I need to do this for you to see the shine of my hair okay anyway let's get the bones all right um one more hair product I have one more hair product <laughs> this hair product this is a curling iron I'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you things fell on the floor all right this my friends is what I use to do my hair today this is the hot tools Hot tools, curling iron. I, you know what? I don't know why they don't put like three millimeter on here or one millimeter, centimeter, whatever it is. I don't even know. Like people say, like one inch, two inch. I don't know what that says. It's obviously not millimeter, Samantha, because this is way too big. I think this is one and a half inch. I think this is one and a half inch, but it gives me the perfect curls. And the reason why I love using the clamp is because it totally curls the bottom of the hair. When I was using the wands, I was always scared I was going to burn myself, so I always kept it like a half inch away. But then the bottom of my hair would look straight, and it would just, it would be a more like tousled, messy look. T 
tousled, messy look. But I really like the way it's so, it looks so polished when you use the, um, the clamp on the bottom. So you pull it all the way down and you pull it back up and you hold it. And when you release it, even the bottom of your hair is curled. I really, really like this. Hot Tools, I think I spent, I think this was like 20 something dollars at Ulta. It was so inexpensive and I love it so much. It works so good. And when I use like, uh, I use a heat protectant that is also sculpting. I use the Hot Flex Spray by, um, I use this here, the Hot Flex Spray by KMS. And when my hair is damp, I spray this in and it protects from heat. And it gives my hair the ability to hold a curl. I don't know why I had to go all Ghostbusters on that one. Um, yeah, you get it. You get it. Okay, let's move on. I can't even believe I'm going to tell you guys about this, but I have to because I've just been loving them this month. This is like a little bit TMI, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. Tampax Radiant. They are not sponsoring me. I had to tell you regardless. All right. I always used to use cardboard tampons. You know, I never use plastic. And there's a pharmacy in the building that I work in, and I had picked these up, and they're amazing. And I have to show you guys this. They come in their own little pouch, and they're resealable. So you can, like, open up the seal, and then, you know, you use the tampon, you put the plastic applicator back in there when you're done, and you, you close it. So it just seals in the applicator. I just... I love these things so much. These are the Tampax Radiant Plastic applica uh, pa plastic Tampons. I think these are really, really great. I've been loving them. I know the majority of people that watch my channel are women, so I had to tell you guys about these. I think these are a great, great product, and they're so sanitary. You know, instead of, like, wrapping up the applicator in, like, paper towel, you know, like, in toilet paper and throwing it out, this seals it, and it's just so much less gross. And you know what, like when you go to work and stuff like that, you're gonna like wrap up the thing and like throw it in the garbage and like other people, okay, let's just stop. That's, that's enough. That's enough. That is enough. See, even the people outside think it's enough. Okay. Um, next. Next for you, and this is the last, no, this is the second to last non-beauty item. Well, actually the other stuff was beauty, right? But this is totally not beauty related. I'm gonna talk about this. Oh my gosh. Last month I got the Erin Condren Planner. I am in love with this, you guys. I've been having so much fun with this. Oh my gosh. I know it's like not functional if you're a digital person. I'm a digital person. It's, I don't do it to actually keep track of my life. I do it for fun. I know that sounds silly. Um, I actually use my phone, my calendar on my phone to track all my stuff, you know, like t to remind me of appointments and things that I have to get done. But I've been using this kind of just as a crafty kind of thing. Let me show you guys. I'm going to put a link below for the Air Encounter Planner for you guys if you want to check it out. But like what I've been doing is just putting all my things in here, like my dates. I haven't gone like crazy, like some of the people I see do like plan with me stuff. Like I have not gotten outside stickers yet, so I'm not quite that far into it. But I've been like, you know, little decorating and like putting little stickers on my birthday and stuff like that. Like I really have been enjoying it. And then like September, I have all these plans in here and I just, I think it's really fun and it's so pretty. It's rainbow and girly and I really love this planner. Um, um, it's $50 on their website, I believe, or $55, and I had them put my name on it, so it's Samantha Riley. I actually bought my mom one, too, because I just, I thought it was so, so sweet, and I love it, and it's rainbow, and uh, I just love this. I love this thing so much. You guys, I love it. I love it. I think I have a text. Now, I've been loving my phone, too. I got the new um, Samsung 6, 6 Edge. It is so snazzy. Like... Three D. It's like three D. Okay. Anyway, let me put the phone down. All right. So on to a more beauty favorite. It's time for a face. All right. I've been using a lot more primers lately because I have a ton of primers, guys. Like I have so many primers. Ask me if I use them. No, I don't use them at all. I, I barely use my primers. Like every once in a while. So I've been really making a concerted effort to use more products in my collection that I do not give a lot of love to. Like today, I use my BH Cosmetics 120 palette, which I haven't used in like a year. Legit a year. So I busted it out and I did this eye look. I, 
That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to really use products that I have that I'm not using. This is the... Okay, this is the Prime... Prime Time. Prime Time Bare Minerals Neutralizing Primer. This is a yellow primer. Let me squirt them out for you. For you. See, it's a yellow primer, and when you have really pink or red skin, it's great when you have blemishes and stuff like that. You prime your face with this. It is awesome soft. I use this today. Awesome soft. Oh, it's so good. Um, it smells like, I don't know, I really love the smell. Oh, I love the smell. Don't do it. Um, so I've been using this primer this month and I really, really like it. Especially when, when I'm going to use foundations that are really, really pink. I mean, because I tend to like a slightly tinted yellow foundation, so it helps neutralize, like, my extreme pinkness. So if I use a yellow primer, it just makes me look more neutral and not so cool toned. You know what I mean? Do you guys dig it? You would dig it? So I love this primer. You know, I wanted to say to you guys, I get comments sometimes on my favorites videos about how I don't show enough drugstore products, and... I felt very conflicted about that comment because if I'm loving something, I'm loving it and I want to tell you guys that I'm loving it and share it with you, but if I feel stupid, Harley Davidson, okay, um, I feel conflicted because if I'm loving something, I want to share it with you guys and I don't want to have to, like, make stuff up and tell you that I'm loving something when I'm not because it's drugstore, you know what I mean? So, I do understand that a lot of people want to see more drugstore products, but I can't help what I like. You know what I mean? So, I'm just staying true to myself. I'm going to continue to show you guys products that I love, but if they're not as many, um, you know, like, drugstores you like, then I'm sorry, and you just have to really like what I'm showing you or don't watch. Is that, is that too aggressive? Okay, let me move on. Um, I've been loving this this month. This is the MAC Oil Control Lotion. I got this uh, last month. No, in July. Yeah, I got this in July. I love this baby. I don't know how oil control it is. Like, it controls oil enough, but it doesn't stop my oil dead in its tracks. I do like it. I like it. I like it. And I feel like the finish I get with my skin when I use this is really nice. But I wouldn't say that it stops my oil. Does that even make sense? Like, yeah, I love the way my makeup applies on top of it. But I wouldn't say that it's like the like the be all end all like stop some oil in place. You know what I mean? Like oil, you know, like no, it's not like stopping my oil like crazy. But it it gives a good finish. You know, like it's a nice primer to put on your skin. La 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 la. Stop rambling on about this product. Let's move on. Shit. Okay, let's talk about lashes. These lashes are sick. Sick. They're not in there because they're on my eyeballs right now. These are the Violet Voss lashes in I Do, like E Y E D O. I Do. And these are um, premium fibers and natural hair lashes. Like, look at how natural looking these lashes look. They're not natural looking, like natural, natural, but like, can you see? They're so pretty. I love these. They're so. Oh. Okay. I love these lashes. They're awesome. Um, next. Ah, oh, this. Look at how dirty and delicious this is. This is the Real Techniques sponge. And this is the amazing dupe for the Beauty Blender. I've been hitting this bitch hard this month. I love this so much. Oh, it is so good. It's so soft. I have destroyed it with my fingernails. It's dirty because I used it. And if you want a flawless finish on your face, foundation, mm, it's so good. I love this sponge. This is bomb.com. Yes, 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 yes. I love this sponge. Okay. Um, next, the Eye Refresh by e.l.f. It looks like, I don't know, like a sex toy, honestly. Um, you put it, it's a roller roll, and you use it to de-puff underneath your eyes. It is so cooling. I don't know how it's so damn cooling. Like, honestly, you guys, at the end of the night and in the beginning of, you know, when I wake up in the morning before I put on makeup, I just, I put it under my eyes and then I put it on top of my eyes too, actually. And I just roll it under there for a minute. It just feels so cool. It's supposed to, like, depop. Like, does it really work? I don't know. But it just feels really good. It is 
it's just so pleasant like it's so pleasant to put that under your eyes and that cooling sensation just really wakes you up I love this I love it it's in my favorites of course I love it like why wouldn't I love it if it was in my favorites okay next product is glitter glitter I've been loving my glitter lately horrible horrible British accent I'm sorry about that this is the nude stack by lit cosmetics you guys know I love lit cosmetics I've mentioned them a few times I'm wearing today a modern love on my eyes okay so I'm wearing this glitter right now on the center of my lids called modern love it's a beautiful champagne -y gold glitter and this stack has three different nude glitters this one is called fully nude this is called fully nude absolutely stunning and the last one is called Express Yourself, which is almost like a coppery nude. Oh, don't spill it. Don't spill it. Lit Cosmetics is my favorite glitter of all time. And it's just so beautiful and they have so much, so many different colors. You know, oh, I love it. So this is a nude stack. I've been loving this. And I'm wearing, like I said, what is this? Modern Love on the center of my lid. Because I ripped up many anyways. Look. Because <laughs> I'm a thief. I'm a thief. I'm a damn thief. Okay. Anyway. Don't judge me. Okay, next for eyes. Oh my god, I didn't even finish the skin. I didn't even finish the skin. But I'm skipping, I guess. Alright, I've been absolutely loving. I've been using this for a few weeks now. I just posted the video last week, actually. Um, but this is the Sigma Mascara and High Caliber Lash. High Caliber Lash Amazingness. I will link the video where I review this down below. It is so, 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 so good. I wore it today. This mascara wand does special things to my body. I love it. I love it. The skinny wand and the mascara is amazing. Oh, it just, it makes my lashes like 18 feet long and they're just gonna like reach out and get you guys. Okay, um, I absolutely love this mascara. There's something wrong with me today. Um, I love this mascara. It is so, so beautiful. It is a bitch to get off with just soap and water though. Like, you need eye makeup remover for this one. I didn't realize that when I did the review. <laughs> so, that's a little update for you guys. Uh, one other thing I've been using a lot, and this is by default because my Kat Von T Trooper liquid liner ran out. I don't know where it ran out to, but it just ran out and left behind dry. So I've been using this because I had this in my collection. This is the NYX NYX liquid black liner. It's just like a basic liquid black liner and I've been using this like crazy. It is so black. It does not smudge on me at all and it dries down to like, I don't know, like a, not a matte finish, but like a, not like shiny vinyl, but just like a basic black liquid liner. It's so good, you guys. This is dynamite. The police, the police, the police needs to chill. Okay. Um, so yeah, I've been loving that black liquid liner and it's drugstore, it's drugstore. So you guys can be happy with that. Okay, one thing for my face that I totally forgot to tell you guys when I was talking about face before is my Yves Saint Laurent Toshi Cla foundation. Uh, this is the Le Tint, Le Tint Toshi Cla illuminating foundation. My color is in the color BR20. I'm wearing it right now. I rediscovered this foundation like a few weeks ago because I'm just, like I said, I've been trying to go back through my whole collection and use things that I haven't been using and this I just forgot about. It is very pricey. I'm not gonna lie. Go to Sephora, get a sample and save up for this mo because it's so good. It's so good. You're so good. I love it. I love this foundation. It's so it's so good. It's like a satin finish. Um, it's full coverage. Well, it's like medium to full coverage, and oh, I love it. Okay, let's move on. Let's go talk about eyebrows. Let's talk about eyebrows. Let's talk about my eyebrows. I've been using this a lot, and this is the NYX mascara, the eyebrow mascara. This is the blonde. This is in the color blonde. And I've been using this to set my eyebrows in place. This holds my eyebrows in place like green. Uh, like crazy, crazy. And it adds that little bit of blonde tint to my eyebrows. And I love it. This is a great drugstore eyebrow tint. Mascara, brow mascara. Uh, where do I have it? I got the Maybelline Brow Plumper, plumper too. But like the wand is so big. It's like... It's like the size of the Times Square ball on the end of a wand. Like, my eyebrows are like a millimeter thick. It's too big. 
it just, it just doesn't work. Okay. Um, for lips, for lips this month, I've been loving this combination, and I'm wearing it right now as a matter of fact, just for show and tell. Right now, I'm wearing the NYX Lip Liner in Plum. This color. I'm ready for fall, dude. I am so ready for fall. Like, screw little t-shirts like this. I want, like, sweatshirts and sweaters and, like, full-on scarves. Like, I'm done with this hot weather. So, anyway, hence the fall makeup I'm wearing right now. Um, this plum lip liner is sick. I love it. It's a great plum. And I've been topping it off with patina. I think I showed patina last month in my favorites, but screw it, it's still my favorite. So there it goes. These two together, amazing. I love patina. Wearing patina. I love it. It's awesome. Okay. And I love this. Okay. So my final favorite. <laughs> yes, we've come to the end of the road. And I'm gonna talk about my Chanel Chance. I ran out of my perfume. I ran out. I ran out of my Chanel Chance, and my heart broke a little bit, and I felt like I lost my a little piece of my soul. So I bit the bullet and I got the big mother. Yeah, look at this little shrimp, big ass. Little shrimp, big ass. So I just love this perfume. Every time I go out and I'm wearing this perfume. Somebody stops me. What are you wearing? Men, women, children, dogs. Everybody. Okay. They all come up to me. They all come up to me. Um, this perfume, women love it. It's not overpowering. Men love it. You know. You know what I'm saying. And um, I don't know if they have some, like, some pheromones in here, but like I swear everybody loves this perfume. And it's so perfect. If I could only wear one perfume for the rest of my life, it would be Chanel Chance. This is the Eau Tindu. Eau Tindu. Yeah. Uh, you get it. Um, I love this. This is a little bit of an investment, but if you have Ulta points, you have your birthday month coupon, just save up, wait for the Ulta coupons to get this. This big one is $97. You can get it on Groupon, but I've been waiting and waiting for months to find it on Groupon, and it's never there. Like, my coworkers tell me that you can find Chanel on Groupon, and I can never find it, mother. So, I just bit the bullet. I used my $10 off coupon for my birthday month for August, and I used my existing Ulta points. I did get $8 back, so for my next purchase from Ulta, I'll have $8 to spend thanks to that purchase. But, like, I couldn't wait anymore because I was out of it. Like, look at this sad, pathetic little empty bottle. Like, no, I needed it. I needed it right away. No more waiting. No more games. Okay. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites video. If you have some favorites that you've been loving, please comment in this section below, in the comment section below, because I'd love to hear what you've been loving this month. Um, yeah. Are you guys following me on all my social media, like Snapchat? I've been loving Snapchat, and I've been trying to really be consistent with Snapchat, so add me on Snapchat. I've got the link below. Don't be a sucker. I've got my, not my link, I have the name below, Sammy Riley R, Sammy Riley YT. So please, follow me on Snapchat, let's hang out, let's talk, let's socialize, that's it, and that's it. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed my August favorites. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and then you'll see future videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.